Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Auto. So here we have a 2018 Renault Kangoo electric van. It is a ZE33. That means it's got the 33 kilowatt hour battery. And on these, the little I there means it's battery owned. And in this video, I thought some people might find this interesting. I'm going to plug my diagnostic scanner here into the vehicle and we're going to scan the battery pack and I'll show you what the BMS reports and all the information that you can see from the battery pack on this vehicle. So on these vans the diagnostic port here is underneath this plastic cover below your handbrake and uh, I've got my um, ODB2 dongle plugged in there for the scanner. So I'm connected to the vehicle and as we can see there the vehicle has lots of ECUs. Um, and we can scroll through any of those and have a look at them. In this case, we want to look at the BMS, which stands for Battery Management System. And then when we're in there, we can look at the live data. I would just say the ignition is on on the vehicle, and then we can look at all signals. So at this point, we're looking at all the information that the battery pack is reporting. Well, the BMS is reporting. So we're looking at uh, a snapshot at the battery in this current state of time. So we can see here, we can see the uh, interlocks, interlock safety plug, lockout plug is closed. And then we've got battery cell voltages and we can see it's measured in millivolts and they're all about 3,400, sorry, 3,648. And we've got battery cell voltages 15, 16, 17, 26, 29. We're going through all the different cells in the pack. 38, 41. So right down to 44. And we can compare all the voltages of every cell. And now we've got temperatures. Module temperature, number one, 10 degrees. So we've got four module temperatures and they're all 10 degrees. Then we're back on to some more battery cell voltages cell number 45 down to number God, it's quite a few uh, 95 down to cell number 96 and again we've got all the voltages then we're back on to some temperatures module number 5 right through to module number 12 and they're all 10 degrees then we've got battery condition. This is the magic number that everyone wants to see. This is your state of health figure. And this van is currently at 100% state of health. The battery also records the mileage of the vehicle. It's in kilometers, 4,295 kilometers. And if I just look across there on the dash, it's saying 2,657 miles, I think. Can't quite see that because I need my glasses on, but anyway. So we can see that that ties up with what the dash is saying. Um, cumulative energy when discharged, 951 kilowatt hours. Traction, ba tra traction battery charge one is 44.3%. And if I look over there on the dash, that uh, yes, we are below the halfway mark on the needle. So that all looks good. Traction battery compartment temperature, 10 degrees. So it's obviously got a sensor in the um, carcass of the battery. So it's measuring the overall pack of the enclosure. And obviously we've then got temperature sensors in each individual model, module as well as I've shown you. Computer supply voltage, 14.4 volts. Traction battery current, minus one amp. We're back on to some module temperatures again. Uh, they're 11 degrees, so module 13 and 14. Let's just see if these others have gone up. No, they haven't. The others are still at 10 degrees. The lowest cell charge status, 38%. Highest cell charge status is at 45.8%. And then we've got bus bar voltages uh, 0.007 of a volt. There's one there at 0 0.003, 0 
0 0.006, 0 0.004, but anyway, buzz bar voltages uh, to uh, 11, number 11, 11 buzz bars. Open circuit voltage, 3.6%. Total capacity, 107.3. I'm not sure on that one what that is measuring. Um, usually they're in amp hours on a, lot of, on a lot of vehicles. It doesn't say on this one, don't have a unit. But anyway, that's all the information you can see from a battery. And uh, most of the time when I'm looking at these, I just want to know the state of health. And I have a quick glance through all the other information to make sure it all looks okay. But uh, the figure that everyone wants to know is what's the condition of the battery on Renault's they do have particularly good packs um, and in this case this vehicle now it's a late 2018 19 20 21 so yes just over two years old it's only done two and a half thousand miles yet the battery is still at 100 percent so i hope you found that interesting a little bit geeky but i might do the similar uh video on other vehicles so you can see what the um battery packs report or what the BMS ECU reports anyway and this is the sort of information that a main dealer will get if uh, you ask them about your battery state of health they're basically just going to um, get that information that the uh, BMS is reporting not all vehicles though do report that battery state of health some BMS's do some don't but anyway on the Renault's the Renault Kangoo's and the Renault Zoe electric vehicles they all do report that number. So if you've got an electric vehicle and you want to uh, look at this information yourself, obviously you're not going to go and buy an £800 diagnostic scanner like I've got. But what you can do is buy a Bluetooth dongle. In this case, I've got a Conway one here and they're pretty good. They only cost about um, £20 or less. And that plugs into the diagnostic port and then allows your mobile phone to communicate with the car and then you get various apps for different vehicles so if you've got a Renault Kangoo ZE or a Renault Zoe then you use the Can Z app and I'll put a link in the description below and uh, owners of uh, Nissan Leafs and uh, ENV 200 you use the Leaf Spy app and there's many other apps for different vehicles I would just say though that um, people can become completely obsessed with monitoring their battery packs um, and uh, sometimes it's a case of having too much information and reading too much into it so for most drivers you're better off knowing and to be honest majority of electric vehicles the battery packs will more than outlast the, the life of the vehicle so you really don't have to worry about monitoring your battery state of health um, apart from uh, a Nissan. Nissan Leafs and, and the NV 200s, so they don't have thermal management on their packs and those vehicles do suffer a bit more degradation than other electric vehicles. Um, so in the UK uh, our climate isn't too hot and batteries do last um, so in a Nissan you're generally looking about a 3% loss per year but in other electric vehicles where they have uh, battery packs with uh, cooling on them um, such as this Renault Kangoo, you're looking at um, much less than 1% loss a year. Uh, and an example like this, uh, no loss at all yet. And uh, I've had six year old um, Renaults that have only lost two to 4% of their uh, battery capacity. I would also just say that obviously when you're looking at your battery state of health, it's just a snapshot at that time. A battery state of health does fluctuate uh, and quite a bit in some vehicles um, so uh, if you're looking at your battery when it's cold particularly in the winter then it might be lower if you haven't used your car for a while particularly during the lockdown then it uh, will drop and it will be lower but when you start using your car and charging the battery and cycling the battery then it will gradually go back up as well there's many factors which affect the performance of the battery um, and uh, just because you look at a battery state of health one day doesn't mean that that's its uh, absolute value. It will go up as well as down. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, 
I hope you found this uh, video useful. If you have, please do click that thumbs up button on YouTube because that really does help other people find the channel. And uh, do comment below. Uh, and maybe I will do a similar thing on other uh, vehicles, electric vehicles. I'll plug the scanner in and show you what uh, the battery packs report.